Hello and welcome. I'm Shane Lee of the Wisconsin Maritime Museum. At the museum, we like to talk about the lives and work of people on the Great Lakes. One particular point of pride is the strong history of shipbuilding in Manitowoc. And if you had to point out one time in particular, uh, a lot of people would point out World War II when the Manitowoc Shipbuilding Company built 28 submarines for the United States Navy. A lot of attention during the World War II era focuses on soldiers. But we're going to talk about people at the home front and sacrifices that they had to make. A lot of goods and materials were going overseas to soldiers, so people had to make do with less at home. There was a paper shortage, so people had to recycle newspapers and find different uses for them. One use that we're going to use today is making little newspaper plant pots, because something people had to do during the time was grow their own food. They call those victory gardens. So we can start making a little victory garden right at home by making a newspaper plant pot. So the first step is just taking a pair of scissors and cutting right in half. So at the end, you're just going to have really what we would consider one full page of newspaper. So it's pretty easy to get things started. All right. So we've got our page. Now I want you to fold it in half, because even though it has a fold, it might not exactly be in half. So we're going to go ahead, fold it in half, and then we will rotate it and fold it in half again. And just so you guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing, I'm going to draw a line with the marker. Yeah, the marker's not working so well. Okay, so we've got our line. And now we're going to fold from the folded edge, we're going to make a couple triangles. So we're going to take the corner, fold it to the middle, kind of like you're making a paper airplane. And now that we've got that, we're going to fold down from the open edge to that center that we just created. All right, and then you can fold it over again. You don't have to be terribly exact with these folds. Now. We can flip it, and I'll try to make another line to make it a little easier for you guys at home to see what's going on here. Okay, so now you fold from the sides to that line we just made, and we'll do that with both of the edges. All right, so now that's done, we're going to take the open edge, the not the pointy edge, we'll go with the, the flat side. Go ahead and fold to the middle that we just created again. And fold over one more time. And you will actually unfold this because I want you guys to try to tuck this open, non-pointy end, into little little triangular pockets. Maybe you can see in there. All right, so this can be a little bit challenging, trying to tuck the paper into those tiny little triangular pockets. All right, so then just press down on it a little bit, make sure that it's nice and snug. All right, so we'll fold in the point toward the opposite edge, and we'll flip it, and we'll do that one more time. And then we're going to take this pointy triangle edge, and we're going to just take it right to where the rectangle shape would meet the triangle shape. And we don't have to fold the whole thing, we're just going to crease right along this tiny little edge. So that when we open up our pot, it's just going to crease right along that edge. And there you go. You've got a nice little newspaper plant pot. So put in your soil, put in your seed, Water it for a while inside before you take it outside when the weather is ready for plants to grow. And you can start your own little victory garden with your own newspaper plant pot. Thanks for joining me.